Hi, this is Dan here. I hope you're doing really well today. In this video, I'm going to show you an app that I really, really wish I had when I was learning. Listen to this. Absolutely amazing. Now this is an app called Moises and what it does is it detects the different frequency ranges that the instruments exist in and it separates them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few use cases and some of the features. It exists on iPhone, Android, iPad and there's a really good web app version as well which I'll show you later on in the lesson. Now this is how you would upload a song, any song. So you press the plus there and you can upload from the files app. So Google Drive, Dropbox, WhatsApp, you can use your camera roll, you can get a URL and paste that in. Or you can do what I did, which is a purchased iTunes song, which is Give Up the Funk by Funkadelic, really cool funk track. So you just press and you ask it to separate into different tracks, you press plus, you press go, and it just works really quickly, really seamlessly. Now this really is the musician's app, it's absolutely perfect for practicing. I'll show you a couple of things you can do. Now let's say you get to a point in the song where the bass line is quite nuanced, there's a few little things there going on and you can't quite pick it up. In that case you would isolate the bass. See, that little bit there, that's good. So my ear latched onto that. Now with the whole mix going, that can be quite hard to, to discern, to quite hard to hear. Another thing you can do, which is what I absolutely love doing, I say this all the time, if you want to work on groove, timing and feel, which is number one for bass players, then to have an arsenal of drum loops to play along to is really handy. Now what you can do here, is isolate the drums and there you go, you've got drum kit to play along to. You can play any funk bass line over this. Just for that feature alone, it's worth the price, even though actually it's a completely free app. There is a premium version which unlocks more features. But if you use this QR code here or click the link in the description, you'll be taken to the site where you can download the app completely free. Here's another thing you could do if I reset here. We can just play the song just without bass. So there's with the bass. Remove bass now. Now, if you've ever tried to play along to a track, and that's another very good thing to do to learn bass, you're always hearing the original bass in the background. And this is a way to do bass covers. This is a way to do bass practice. So there are some ways that you can use this. Now, let me show you some features within this app, which showcases how powerful this is. Now, Moises as a, as a company, the, they're changing things, upgrading things every month, even though the audio quality is already so good. One good feature is the metronome. So if you click here, Smart metronome on. One of the most useful features is if you get to a bass part that just is going too quickly, you can slow it down and that's incredible. So let's have a listen. Now this isn't such a difficult song. Later on I'm going to show you a progressive rock crazy dream theatre bass line 
And in that situation, this is invaluable. Another thing you can do is change the key. Let's reset here, we've got everything back. Look at the top as well, you've got the chords going by in real time, although this is a funk tune, there aren't very many chords going on. See at the top there, there's the chords. That's really good for practicing in different keys. As you can see, the technology behind this app is really geared towards musicians and practice, and especially for bass players, it's great because you can isolate the bass, you can isolate the drums. I absolutely love that feature. And I'm gonna show you the web version now. Now, a band I've always loved, you know, from very beginning learning bass is Dream Theater. The drummer now is Mike Mangini, and I really wanted to learn this song. This is called The Alien. And they won a Grammy for this, and the intro is in 17.8. It's quite involved, quite crazy. This is how it goes. Okay, so that's a little bit different to the first song. So this is a hard song, and this app makes it much easier to approach this. So one thing you can do is just solo the bass just to hear what's happening with it. Let's go back to the beginning. If it's going by too fast, you just slow it down. Okay, at that speed, you can start to really hear the notes. And also, you can work on the timing and the counting. This is a five, a five, and a seven. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That all adds up to 17, eight. So you isolate the bass line, you slow it down perhaps, and then you've got the drum kit on its own that you can play along to. fast. You know, sometimes when you're playing, sometimes when you're practicing, your brain just needs time to catch up. So that slowdown feature is absolutely invaluable. If we get a bit of singing involved later on. You can see how you can start to manipulate things. Now the classic use of this is just simply to remove the bass and you're left with a perfect backing track to play along to. Just for a second, moving back to the app, there's a lovely feature here that I really like, which is that you can create playlists. So if you have a gig, you can have a bunch of songs that is for that gig and you can be practicing that. I'm 50-50 between the mobile app and the web app at the moment, but they both have so many features, so easy to use. Anything that makes you pick up the bass, anything that makes practice easier, I think is good. This is, as the kids say, a game-changing app. When I was learning back in the day, there was nothing like this. You had your cassette player, which you were just next to, rewinding to get back to that bit. And it took a long time, which was great for ear training. But I think this just makes it so much easier to learn any song you want. One more feature of the web app that's really good is that you can have a count in however many beats you want. So if you are doing a cover or if you really want to create a backing track, you can stick that at the front, one, two, three, four, and you're in. Moises have absolutely knocked it out of the park with this app and it's brilliant for bass players who really want to up their practice game. So you've got the QR code here that you can scan, otherwise you can click the link in the description and don't forget that it's free, so there's no excuse to start learning your favourite songs straight away. What do you think? Is that something that you can use in your practice routine? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.